supermarkets stole Marks and Spencer's Caterpillar cake design. I'm gonna spend the next three minutes talking about it. I'm Angela Langlotz, trademark and copyright attorney. I go live here on weekdays to discuss trademarks and copyrights. Well, somebody, one of my viewers, sent me an interesting article yesterday about a lawsuit between Marks and Spencer and retail grocery giant Aldi, it seems that Aldi and Marks and Spencer are involved in a bit of a caterpillar kerfuffle. Aldi is being accused of knocking off, copying, stealing Marks and Spencer's beloved Colin the Caterpillar cake design. And Aldi is um, very cheekily denying that Marks and Spencer has any right to said design. All right, so let's go ahead and look at Marks and Spencer's Caterpillar cake design. They have been producing this cake for 30 years. And here it is, you can see um, their Caterpillar cake right here. And um, I have no idea what these little guys are, but this is the, the best picture I could find of this cake. And it's a sort of chocolate roll cake. And I guess you're intended to slice it and uh, serve it up maybe for, I don't know, Easter dinner or something. But let me show you the cheeky Aldi knockoff that they're calling Cuthbert the Caterpillar. So Aldi has created their own Caterpillar cake and has uh, made it look very much like the colon, the caterpillar, big woogly eyes and all. Are they the same? Okay, so they have reversed the uh, white face and black eyes of the Marks and Spencer caterpillar and theirs is, oh, theirs is white face and black eyes too. Am I getting that right? Yep, okay, anyway looks pretty similar to me, and they're even being cheeky about the whole thing. Aldi Stores uh, is sort of poking fun at Marks and Spencer for asserting their trademark rights to Colin the Caterpillar, and uh, <laughs> they've developed this hashtag, Free Cuthbert. So it's... Um, it's, it's pretty funny, the, the whole thing. Anyway, you can, you can go look at it, but what can we learn from this? So just because you don't think it deserves trademark protection, your competitor that you're knocking off might take umbrage at your attempts to hijack their 30 year old, whatever, uh, 30 year old caterpillar cake design and might just sue you for your cheeky knockoff. So as I've always said, it is best to stay completely away from any famous marks and make up your own creative material, make up your own trademarks, make up your own caterpillar cakes. Don't copy other people's trademarks. You're only going to get yourself into a trademark kerfuffle. I'm Angela Langlotz. Find me on YouTube. I've got a huge YouTube channel there. I've got almost 500 videos. You can find me there at video.trademarkdoctor.net forward slash YouTube. I'm also on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash trademark doctor. And you can find my blog at trademarkdoctor.net. If you have trademark or copyright questions, drop them into the comments below the video. I will answer them on a future live.